Hello and welcome to our OpenLCA tutorial. In this video, we will show you how you can import, restore and combine databases in OpenLCA and we will show you how you can download free databases from our Nexus OpenLCA website. First you start OpenLCA, you can see on the left side that the navigation section is empty because it does not contain any data. In this section, we can have one or multiple databases, but only one that can be active at a time. Also, we can combine different databases. I will show you how to do this in the next few minutes. To have data in this section, we can proceed in two ways, whether we create a new and an empty database or restore a database. First, we will show you how to create a new empty database. We can click on database in the main menu tab then we select new database or we can right click in the navigation section and select new database once the data creation wizard is open we give a name to the database for example database 1 we select local for the database type and tick on complete reference data for the database content after that we select finish now you can see a newly created database which contains different elements such as processes, projects, flows, etc. We will explain the function of these elements in our next video. If you would like to deactivate your database, you just need to right click on the database name, then select close database. As you can see also, you can delete it, rename it or copy it. If you are new to OpenLCA, you will notice that the imported databases are mapped in the same pattern and this simplifies the use and understanding of the database content in OpenLCA. To download the database, we shall visit our online data repository which is called Nexus OpenLCA. We open the web browser and type nexus.openlca.org. This is how the Nexus OpenLCA website looks like. On the main menu on top of the page, we can see that Nexus offers databases. Some are for free, such as Agribalese, ELCD, and so on. And some are for purchase, such as EcoInvent, and much more. We also offer services, such as OpenLCA trainings, OpenLCA support, and LCA Collaboration Server Hosting. Under the section of case studies, we can see that there are examples which were carried out using EcoInvent database and ELCD database. By clicking on EcoInvent case studies, we can see several topics like LCA of bike sharing, LCA comparison of ceramic cup and paper cup, etc. Some of these case studies are for free and some are also for purchase. By clicking on LCA data search, we can see non-ending pages of processes which are extracted from the offered databases. These processes can be filtered by model type, background database, country, type of data, process category, and so forth. Under the section of map, we can see the location of datasets which are provided in different databases in Nexus. And finally, under Documents, you can have access to documents and reports about the various databases offered by Nexus and their use in LCA software. To be able to download datasets or databases, first of all you have to create an account by clicking on Register. After entering your personal information, you will receive an email which validates your account. In our case, I will use my account to show you what happens next. Once you open your account, you will notice on the top of the page the appearance of downloads and orders. Under download, we will be able to download all the free databases. For this video, I will download the first database on the list, which is called Agribalese. First, we click on it, then we choose the latest version, Agribalese 3.0.1. Then, we scroll down the page. After reading the license and the end user license agreement, we click on download.
Coming back to our OpenLCA page to restore the downloaded database. We right click on the navigation tab, we select restore database, then we select our downloaded database in the downloads folder. Waiting a moment for the import to happen. As you can see, the database contains hundreds and hundreds of datasets and the processes and flows. Now I'm going to show you how you can combine two databases. To make it happen, we recommend you to import the lightest or smallest database into the biggest one so that it does not take time. So I right click on Agribilis database and select import. Under others, I select import entire database. Then I select existing database because I will use the database which we have created already. If you would like to import another database which was downloaded, you have to select from exported Zorka file instead. Then we click on finish. After the import, all the processes within the first database will be added to the processes of Agribelize and in the same way for the flows and other elements. Now we came to the end of our video, thank you for watching and see you in the next video where we will explain you the meaning of each element of the database. If you have any question, feel free to drop them in the comment section.